Whether it's what he's snacking on today or his latest dance moves, Stephen Jackson, he always gives us a reason to smile. And today, some good news too, Stephen. I think we all need a little break. A little break from it. A little break. break from the red and blue, right? <laughs> yes, please. A little please. break from it. Okay, we're all good with that. So this eight-year-old girl right behind me, she got some much-deserved recognition for saving her mother's life. Allison Rogers has this good news story. At eight years old, Addie Kramer is small but mighty. Her parents couldn't be prouder. I'm told Addie's mom, Angie, has had breast cancer for the last six and a half years. One afternoon, when it was just the two of them home, she didn't feel well and began having a seizure. Thanks to previous training from her dad, Addie knew just what to do. She put a pillow under my head, made sure that I was on my side, um, just went through the right steps as an eight-year-old. That's very huge. Her dad was out and stopped by the fire department to get help. We were in the building, uh, had a gentleman pull up onto our ramp and get out and explain that his, his wife was having a seizure on the opposite side of town. After driving through three sets of school traffic, the first responders discovered Addie's heroism. We were really just amazed that we showed up and they found that she had done everything that she could and answered all of our questions up until the point that her father came home in which she you know, became an eight-year-old and was obviously upset at that point. The first responders decided her actions deserve some recognition. They presented her with an award at a city council meeting, proving heroes come in all sizes and have multiple superpowers. It doesn't matter your age. Just like cancer, um, I was 32 when I was diagnosed. It doesn't matter your age of your hero that's going to be by your side, that's going to fight with you and for you. The fire department crafted a certificate of bravery award specifically for Addie. It's now proudly displayed on her family's mantle. Amanda, really beautiful story there. Yes. A nice reminder to you kids. Maybe you're doing some remote learning. Mm -hmm. Make sure you listen to your parents because yes. listening to her dad actually helped to save her mom. Yeah, and I think, you know, as a parent, you never want your kids to have to take care of you. Um, but, you know, in this situation, if they had not taught her daughter that, who knows what may have happened. So yeah. it all worked out. All worked out. Yeah, I think about the poise, too, that uh, Addie had to call yeah. in the police. They say that she was very calm. She gave them what they needed to know until uh, they were able to get there. So uh, really cool, really good story. There. Good job, Addie. <laughs> and thanks for bringing some good news for us this morning, Stephen. We no needed problem. it. Ha, ha, ha.